Hi everyone, let's take a look at another problem here. It says the home price index as a percentage change from 2003 in year T is represented by Y equals P of T. So we can see this graph here. Um, the x-axis represents time and the y-axis represents the home price index. So part A, what year does P of T equal zero? So remember, whenever we see the derivative, we're thinking about the tangent line, and so we're looking for when the tangent line is zero. And so what kind of lines have zero slopes would be horizontal lines, right? So if I look at this um, graph that's represented up here above, the point at which it has a tangent line that's a horizontal line would be right here, which is the year 2006. So in the year 2006 is when P prime of t is zero, when the derivative is zero. So part b, is the derivative at 2008 positive, negative, or zero? So again, let's look at our tangent line. So I'm going to go to 2008, which is right here. So if I'm thinking about the tangent line there, it's sloping down like this. Um, and so because it's sloping down, we know that it's negative. Okay, last question here says find the average rate of change from 2006 to 2008. So if I look at this graph here, let's see, um, 2006 gives me this point here. So at 2006, the home price index is 40. So I'm going to write this down. So 2006, the home price index is 40. And then if we go back here, we want 2008, which is right here. Looks like the home price index is 25. So in 2008, it's 25. So here we're looking for the average rate of change, which is similar to that slope formula that we talked about in our notes. So um, we're going to do y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So if I were to label everything here, this looks like 25 minus 40 over 2008 minus 2006. So what does that give me? 25 minus 40 is negative 15 over 2. And what does that represent? So that's negative 15 over, over 2 percent change. Per year. So there is your average rate of change.